problem. Thank you for sending that along. The shelves in there are they the, sh the shorter ones that are yeah. three feet? Mm -hmm. yeah. So can we use can we use or can we uh, can we can you use the main floor and then the downstairs as in scenario three that I 
be able to point it out. Yeah. Because there's some of the programs, food events, both and board displays in the basement, and, and then use the main floor and just leave the other for. Although at this point. Um, does that kind of look like the shooting to you then? What you're describing right now? I guess that, well, the only thing is we weren't using the stage, stage at all. Yeah, at I, all. yeah. But, I mean, you use? Oh, I see. Kind of combining one and three. Three, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. I see, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you use the stage for kids now, it's... But you know, the, and so the other thing, the reason I wasn't up on the stage, we really crazy about the stage before, is because Cheryl and I had talked about it. Um, space needed for both, but we've discussed that and we're going to ask the uh, Board of Civil Authority, that's the board of the guys, if we can actually have the voting here. Um, in this building? In this building. Interesting. Well, it, it's easier actually for them, they're not moving a lot of things, we, we spend a day yeah. moving stuff back and forth, we have the connections. You know, we get 60 to 70 people that go to town meeting and vote. Most of the people are driving in anyways. We have a bigger parking here. So it really makes sense. I mean, there's going to be a few people that have to go there and then go over here and vote. And it's... So we still have a town meeting. We still have a town meeting there. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just have the voting here. Yeah, that makes sense. And then if there's things that they need throughout the day, they can just do it without having to do it. Say it's the internet, they have to, you know, it just seems like it's a better idea anyway, so. Um. So Tom, are you sort of saying if we were to kind of cut the bottom part of three and stick it onto one, that's kind of what you're looking at? That's what you're looking for? It's Something like that, yeah. I think, like that. And, but still, I mean, but you can still use the stage, just um, you know, keep your stuff down on the floor. Corey, they were expressing concern about um, kids and the stairs, and we were explaining about volunteers and the stairs too. Mm -hmm. That was part of what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I am in favor of scenario five, which we asked for but didn't get, which is downstairs only. And that's not being presented. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you read the letter? Yes, I did. So did you realize that we've been selling out of the basement since 2017? Yes. Okay. I agree that any issues with humidity would have to be fixed right away. And uh, there's no that's not good enough. Mm -hmm. And as far as, I'm just curious, um, as far as the safety issues at the library, what did Tom, uh, did uh, Martin Cameron ever say anything about it? If anything at all can be done? What specifically? As far as ice and about? snow, anything they can Well, I use de-icer and I shovel the walk, and then the town plows the parking lot. Mm -hmm. But with the berms that build up, mm -hmm. sometimes I can't shovel a path that is actually off the road, so people have to walk on the okay. road. If the road crew were able to remove all of that, would that make a difference? For this winter? Yeah. Uh, there's still an indoor plumbing question. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we understand Jason would prefer to have everything in the basement, so we know what uh, his preference is here. Um, everyone else, do you guys see scenario or combination? What are you, what are you guys thinking? Uh, that would be okay. I, I still don't like using the main door for right. I think, of heat. Well, I think that's something we can talk about. I, I would agree on that. Uh, and it's something we experience during town meeting, mm -hmm. the, the main door being open. I think coming in from the side entrance would be their preferred. I uh, always have the front entrance unlocked so it's for egress. You know, you need to get out for emergency purposes. Okay. Safer. We have to get out the road. Mm -hmm. We could have yeah. a sign on the door that says use the side door. Probably just get people you know, conditioned to using that because otherwise you, know, you have to, during the winter, there's no sidewalk there, so you have to come around onto the road anyway. So mm -hmm. if you just come from 
Right. Or in the parking lot, straight across, but much safer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kelly, what do you think? I'm kind of adjacent. I kind of want to see what it looks like. I mean, I've been to events in the town hall, and I am just not envisioning, envisioning this. And since it was asked for the last time, and just to think about it and see what it would look like. I mean, well, I you can't. Can, you well, can picture the bottom of the basement of the town hall with everything in it. I mean, so use that, I think. Yes. Um, yes. Sorry. This is the basement right here. And this is the main hall. And the issue isn't, is there a room? It's about the, um, the aesthetic as well as the quality of the space for the temporary taking place over the today's day. And I think it's a good compromise to use some of the top and then some of the basement. I mean, we need to use the building to get it seasoned, to get the thing, you know, getting the, the mustiness out of it and just getting it used. Uh, there is nothing, aside from this weekend, there's nothing scheduled at all for events uh, upstairs. And if something comes up, then it will be the responsibility of the... Um, there are two events scheduled in 2020. When are they or what are they? Um, hang on a second. <clears throat> By the way, so those are the type of things I mean, <clears throat> that you'll have to work around. Um, so we can minimize that with using, I, I think, you can concentrate on the one floor. People here, if you want to do things up on the stage, it'll keep people away from the, the curtains, which I'm a little bit concerned about anyways. Are you talking just to one come? Until May. May. Okay, so January 14th is scheduled from 10 to 10 for a private function, dinner, dance. February 4th, it's scheduled for a private function from 10 to 10, dinner dance the same person. Um, what days of the week is this? It's Tuesday. Uh, January 10th? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Friday. I'm January 14th, I'm sorry. January 14th and February 4th. You must be planning my husband's future. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw you like a picture in the, well, oh, that was your anniversary or something. That I saw something. Facebook? I don't know Facebook, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been with me. Either way. Uh, so we need, we decided, uh, we made a motion we were going to find a temporary space. This is what we have. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, I'm all good with you know, the main floor in the basement. And, uh, Stage is you know, something that can be used temporarily, whatever. But uh, you know, I think to use the basement only it would require a uh, pretty good investment from the town to, to get everything right. And you know, maybe that's something we can work on in our budget to to, to improve the basement. But for right now, you know, we need to go forward. Right, and the floors, you know, subpar at this point. You know, we haven't done anything with it. Um, I agree, you know, let's try it out, see what people think, and, um, you know, we can look at it and then, you know, look at the budget stuff. I know we looked at some floor stuff, but we should also look at the what, what's up above mm -hmm. and see what can be taken down or added aesthetically, maybe to make it a little nicer in there. Yeah. Yeah. Are you talking about the ceiling downstairs? Yes. Someone did look at it. Yeah, can. Can't, can't yeah, do it. it. It's all, all the... Um, Plumbing and everything is like right at the same. Oh, is it? That's right. That's what I guess I already answered. Either way, um, it needs floors, and whether the, the, the library is in it or or uh, or not, I think that's something we should probably budget for. Correct. Yeah. Um, but there's no sense of adding it to this budget here. Jason, anything? Well, I think that this is raising a situation that's been in place for a long time, the status of an emergency, which I don't think is justified. And I'm 
comfortable with these changes with a town vote and this position on this. Okay. So I move to um, use the town hall, uh, both upstairs and downstairs, as we've discussed, the main floor for the uh, collection and seating. Part of, the part of the collection, part of the seating, using the uh, side entrance as entrance the main, main entrance. I'll second that. Any further discussion? And uh, uh, when you said side entrance, yes. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor of aye. 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 <laughs> Nays? Aye. Nays. Nays. Three eyes, the eyes have it. All right. So, any other questions at this point? Charlene? Um, we're going to do about these two rentals. Yeah, we'll have to we'll work a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Figure out what needs to be done. All right, so that's good and lovely. I'll take the time. <laughs> we'll work on a plan to move. Right. Thanks. Thank you very much. for accounting practices in the town of Moortown, thereby enabling voters, the select board, and the treasurer to make sound decisions in preparing and adopting the town budget and managing town finances. That's what it's all about. Moving sure that I'm reporting, giving you guys your monthly reports, which you guys get anyway, um, showing revenues, expenditures, um, balances. So that's what we're practicing now. It is what we're mm -hmm. practicing. We just don't have a policy in hand. Auditors like to see this policy. 
I've got a chance to read through it once, which is not as I yeah. Does everyone want to take a moment to read this and come back next meeting? Or is this something that someone's comfortable in um, voting on tonight? If I could take a quick scan. Everyone else? I'm okay with voting tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay with voting tonight. Yes, and, right. and what we should have done is we should have made a recommendation to the Finance Financial Review Committee on this, and we didn't do that. So sorry about that. All right. Jason, you want to make a motion on it then, maybe? Yes. Um, I move that we put in place the accounting, auditing, and financial reporting policy as presented by our treasurer. Second. Kelly seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 So this will leave the sign tonight. Let's put this in here. Okay, hey, Sean. Um, and then now I'm going to present and ask you to adopt a fraud prevention policy. It's basically if someone feels that it's, um, I'm committing fraud or anybody who's collecting any money is committing fraud, that they have someone to go to. Um, I recommend that they go to the chairman and the co-chairman. I wrote John and Tom's name in here. Um, it can, we, this would have to be updated every year. Um, it's just basically another financial auditing best practice that the LCT recommends. Um, Does the person have to be named or can they, they were, be referred to by position? It can be by position, but the positions change every year, so that's why they still tell you you have to update it every year. Because if, like, John's on a three-year term, mm -hmm. and Tom's on a one-year term, so it does it does say Chairman Tom Martin, Co-Chairman John Hogan. So this would just be another. So on uh, we need right. to do the um, mm -hmm. our first meeting, meeting right. of the year or after mm -hmm. town meeting. This would be on that list. Okay. I'm just wondering if they could just say. Chairman and Vice Chairman. It did have it in there, um, the module that I went by from VLCT, mm -hmm. and it clearly had co-chairman and then name the person, and then chairman and name the person. So, and, and it has to have their contact number in there as well. Okay. All right, I think that's actually mm -hmm. a good policy now. Mm -hmm. It just allows someone, it gives the town, anyone who's working for the town or is a, and, or even a, 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 a resident, mm -hmm. the option, you know, a, that can go to someone else besides me or my assistant right. or somebody here in the office. And this is probably who they would most often go to with someone on the board anyways. Mm -hmm. It's just give someone a clear yeah. definition. Um, Jason, why don't you go ahead? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I move that we put in place the fraud prevention policy as presented by the town treasurer. Second. Okay, seconds. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you. And the next one is the purchasing policy, which we already have. But as of July 1st of 2019, um, it doesn't meet the federal guidelines. So if we were to get any federal funds, which we get any most of our grants. Um, if we were to ever get audited, we could get spoken to and possibly have to either repay the money or mm -hmm. not get any more federal funds. So it's adding the code of conduct. Um, I had Cheryl with the this and over to match up to the one that we already have. And it's basically, it's the same exact thing, adding the um, fraud, or sorry, the code of, code of conduct now. Mm -hmm. That one may not take a little longer, but, but it is required as of July 1st of this year. So all the rest of this remains the same, and then this is that? Yep. It's just mm -hmm. adding in all the federal. Oh, yes, I did this right. Mm -hmm. okay. And this codifies current practice. It's nothing we don't do. So, are we ready for motion? I think so. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, too, the other part of that purchase policy 
Also, we have to adopt a new conflicts of interest policy, which if it's not listed in our purchase policy, then that also kicks us out of federal funds too. So we have to adopt the conflict of interest policy, which also includes the ethical conduct, which is also required by law now. So there's, they kind of go together. Okay. You need someone to force all this stuff. Yeah, okay. and I, you know, I wouldn't have known if I didn't go. Oh, no, no. It's and, and it's like, all, the two of them blend, so. Try to skip that meeting next year. <laughs> I don't have any more to present to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're all very good um, motions or policies to have. Mm -hmm. If I can take a few minutes yeah, to take, yep. read this. Um, as long as you're here, this was something I was going to bring up in reports and communications, but since you're here now, did you want to talk about the computer operating systems? And She's going to be here for the budget. Oh, okay. And so, so that's that. that. So, yeah, that's yeah, why. Okay. Um, I have lines all on that, please. Mm -hmm. Not all lines, so. But you know what? While you're reading that, we can go into um, old business, Jason. Mm -hmm. This one thing that it's kind of minor that we can, I think it is. We'll see. We got a letter from uh, Rich Rivers. Oh, yes. It's not even one of the first three that he yeah. actually had. No, it was right. No, he, I think he's assuming he rejected the other ones, which we really didn't. As River and Ledge Road, it seems hard to say. I don't know. Do we want to ask him how he feels about going back to his first? Oh, what were the first? It seemed like there was a, mm -hmm. I thought that there was a conflict. Yeah, there was a, one, I, I, I thought there like was one and three, there was a conflict. Yes. River's new drive. <laughs> Riverview Drive, so one of the very similar ones. I think because of the all of the yeah, River Road and uh, uh, it's it's River Ledge. Ledge. River Ledge. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care if you use well, that word. I don't make most of the River Ledge Road. Sorry. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Right. Right. So he's. He's got it. Thank you. Sometimes a group of easy ones sometimes can be the most difficult. <clears throat> and how's that looking, Jason? Yeah. Um, all right, other things on old business. There's not be too consuming. Interesting. Uh, overall, this is okay. There's an interesting consideration in here because once a public officer has recused himself, he shall not sit for the public body. So, oh, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, this is a little. <laughs> yeah, this is a little strong. I personally wouldn't choose what they're. Yeah, they have that, here, is, that is strong. Yeah, but I suppose we're gonna have a choice. No, you can you can adjust that. That's just a module that the LCT recommends. Okay. You can you can okay. adopt it. You then can adjust it. Do we have until next meeting on this? Because I would probably. You can. You can scratch it out. Whichever you. Why don't we wait? On this particular, mm -hmm. because um, there's some questions on it. I think we should take a look at this and yeah. see what we want to accept. This is a little. So, yeah, because yeah, those are things. I mean, I sometimes we need to be accused, but I think we should be able to talk about it and discuss it. Yes, yeah, and certainly not leave that have to leave the room. room. Exactly. <laughs> Which sometimes it might be nice to have that. <laughs> but there's no time element. To it needs, to be, it needs to be done soon because we're already out of compliance. Compliance? Okay. Because as of July 1st, um, I definitely want it done before we get Yeah, well, we'll know a couple of weeks. It's not enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we know you're going to not, it will have an emergency meeting coming in. So, so can you email these to us? So I'll no, 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 just the conflict that we purchased. Yeah. Just conflict. Yeah, these other. Just the conflict. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, the other the other one. And the fraud prevention, everything else is good. Mm -hmm. This just made me a little bit of tinkering. You know the wall, it's what we're doing. Yeah, it's just a model, so. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, continuing on in the board of business. Sasha, so, do you have all the bits? I do. We can just have, have them all so we can have them public. Dubois Construction, they came in at $691,870. Jay Hutchins, $761,406. GW Tatro, $882,950. Uh, Dirt Tech, $813,535. And Dale Percy at $741,850. Um, so the low bidder being six hundred ninety-one thousand eight seventy, being uh, Dubois Construction. However, um, <clears throat> our grant fund total was five hundred forty-two thousand, and we've already spent. Um, Thousand of that. Um, our balance being four hundred sixty-five thousand. Um, we had a conference call today with uh, Chris Hunt from the state. Um, that was John and Cheryl, Cheryl Lynn, uh, and me. Um, and so, what it looks like at the end of the day that this. This could potentially cost us the town out of pocket one hundred and thirty-three thousand. Yeah, and 
Cheryl's, Cheryl's pretty confident. We can find ways to put that. And, um, that's, like there's a couple of items here that um, perhaps the town could help with and parting off some of the, uh, you know, the junk. Um, there is a, you know, I get, I spent a lot of time with the plans, but I, I believe there is some savings in some of the plans that I think Dumois could work with the engineer on as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I know the last, we've done the uh, last couple of years, uh, two major projects with Barry and Mount Pinger that were both over budget, and we worked pretty hard with the engineer to try to uh, get the, you know, down, you know, couldn't get them down below budget, but we are familiar with working with engineers and presenting some value engineering that everybody benefits from. All right. Um, okay. is, is this $100,681 the resident engineer? No. So we don't have the resident engineer in there? Uh, that's, it is, that's the 63,000, but it is, it is in, it's in, it is, it might it's in there. Uh, it's 100,000 project oversight. That's, so that's what I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jason, yes, okay. yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, there was also some immediate, about 30,000 we were looking at that we saw some savings, so, mm -hmm. um, and then looking at the budget, you know, hopefully we'll work with the contractor, they had clearing and rubbing, which the engineer had a thousand, came in at twenty four thousand. So that's where we're hoping to save some um, traffic control. Traffic control. Five thousand, and they had it at twenty five thousand. Um, some of that traffic control, I think we can get more money from the state. There's other avenues to get some of that as well. So. Um, Chris thinks, uh, Chris Hunt from the state, thinks that we should go ahead with the project. Um, you know, we've been planning it for six years. We've had, um, you know, the, the paving's gonna be done in June, and that's why some of this cost is attributed to um, the time of year, mm -hmm. the breakdown between the winter, and then start up costs again. But it needs to be done by the end of June, essentially for the, uh, the paving and the bridge to, to happen. And, and Ray, do you think we'd save some if, if they didn't have to worry about doing anything in the fall? Because doesn't, wouldn't it be you know, moving equipment back and forth? Isn't it? There yeah. probably is, John. I would, uh, I would defer that question to somebody, that the person that's going to be more familiar with the project. Yeah, okay. Uh, but anything like that, I, I think, you know, we take a look at. Yeah, okay. There was, I think, show or someone would just say, I'll get right to you, Jason. Mm -hmm. It was $10,000 in the budget for, you know, uh, staging and unstaging okay. and whatever that for winter. But <clears throat> because of the time frame, I, I think it's going to probably, that's one of those things that's going to be hard to, yeah. push off because we need to get it started. Yeah, so, I, I think, you know, from from what I've heard, um, again, uh, I wasn't involved in but I think a, a, a big part was trying to get that drain line in by the fire station, which is outside the roadway. Oh, right. Trying right, to get that okay. in this fall. Yeah. Uh, so that we wouldn't have to deal with high water and we could start in the roadway earlier next year. So I, I think at this point we were planning on getting that in our schedule. Okay. okay. But Good. that might change and, and, you know, maybe we could do it in, in March instead of this long one and then would it be just one mobilization at that point. So, uh, but that's something, you know, we could look at and, uh, and talk to the town about or somebody would. Right. And uh, Jason, I'm reading uh, GPI's uh, mm -hmm. proposal, uh, they said the bulk of the work between April and June, or April and they had later like this summer, I thought, even September maybe. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I imagine that they, they could be on site. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we had said originally. Yeah. Well, they said that they were working on a 12-week time frame. Right, yeah, so, so that, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
Now, all I was wondering is if we accept this, are we still able to go for a supplementary grant? Next year. We thought that it's closed mm -hmm. up for this year, okay. but next year. Okay. And that's the other, other thing that Charles. Yeah. So that yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. There's mm -hmm. also there's $25,000 left in the Deer Fund. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can use that on the sidewalks. You know, if we, if we have to, we'd have to, you know, best be not if we can get grants, but there's money there. Um, and that's something we'd ask the Finance Committee to mm -hmm. next spring, all right, take a look at these options here. Uh, what's the best avenue, uh, SANS uh, grants, and then hopefully we get some more grant money. And, uh, again, it was a discussion on the phone, but they really, the state really wants us to go ahead with this. So um, it's kind of, you know, we'll work with, you, with, the, with the grants. If we, if we can get any, any sort of a, not a commitment, any sort of like a wink that a something that we looked at paper over, that would be... Yeah, so, um, but either way, I, I mean, that, but if we, if that's what we want to do, we need to move ahead tonight so that we can get everything mm -hmm. um, going. So, um, this is something that Ray, if someone's making a motion that Ray probably will not be involved in. I will make a motion then that uh, we hire a voice construction for the sidewalk and stormwater project. Second. Kelly seconds. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, but aye. 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 Any opposed? And Ray has uh, abstained, so that is four zero. So we'll go with uh, Du Bois. Thank you on behalf of the Yeah. Well, that's what you would say if you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> if you could be in the room, you would say that. Oh, good. They used to look the job. All right. Um, any other old business that we have? Going, going along with that, then, um, the... <clears throat> inspection consultant and inspector consultant uh, team or consulting engineering team has come up with a recommendation for a GPI and um, there is roughly 63,000 is what their bid came in at and uh, so Jason and I are here to present that tonight. Did I look at a different one? I, th I thought I saw a total of 70000 on that. Oh, you know what? There was some, There was something else on there that added up to seventy. Come to mm -hmm. think of, you're right, you're right. I think there was 63000 but there was something else that was added on to that brought it up to seventy. Because I remember thinking, gee, that's the same as Hamlet. How about that? So, okay. <clears throat> so, but it's GPI? Yeah. Roughly at seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. That was the second choice on the list that you guys mm -hmm. correct. And their engineer is old enough and has enough experience. Forty years, forty years versus one year. So I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then remind me when we get to the minutes. I don't think we can say that. So we have to <laughs> take that out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Problem that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, do you want to move on that, John? I will make that motion that uh, we hire GPI uh, as the um, inspection consultant. And I will second that. Excellent. Any further discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 No vote here. All right. I'm still things out of the. Sorry. Um, just for uh, Old Business Common Association, so that is being worked on, so it's not, um, so everyone around the table is who we can ask, there's nothing to do to talk about at this point, but it's not being ignored, if you will. That's the Condo Association. Okay, so that was not a quick, easy answer from you? Well, it was. Okay. There you go. It's just it's at this point, mm -hmm. doesn't, can't discuss any of that. Um, and we did the sidewalk bits, so we're, we're good with old business. Um, new business. Is 
Anyone have any uh, anything new? Um, Sharon said she was talking about the computers during the budget. So. Do you want to do that now, or do you want to do that during the budget? That's up to you. Yeah, let's um, wait on the budget and get to that, and just yeah. kind of hold that right with that. Um, but we can. So let's go ahead and let's do reports, communications. Sasha, you have you've been out. Tell us about Arizona. How was Arizona? It was awesome. Very dry. Very dry. <laughs> Very dry. <laughs> just like they say, it was hot. Very hot. But dry. Very dry. I couldn't drink enough. So I have a reports and communications questions. This is in regard to the email that we got regarding the school board meeting. And this was very informative. It's just my memory isn't good enough to get everything out of this I should. What are these? Okay. There there were four scenarios with sub scenarios. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was A, B, D, and then the way it is now, okay? Mm -hmm. They voted to eliminate scenarios A and B, mm -hmm. which means at the very least, Moortown School will be K through four. Mm -hmm. So Moortown School will remain open, okay? Under scenario D, there is a, there's an A, B, and C, mm -hmm. and or an a, uh, the other night I said, just rename it one, two, and three, please. So <laughs> that. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, and um, <clears throat> so number three was the only one that could move to Moortown uh, to K through four or pre mm -hmm. K through four. Mm -hmm. um, so that has to be decided on, or if they're just going to leave it as is. So mm -hmm. that's still up on the, okay. the board. So. Thank you. Yeah. So to go back to a little bit. Um, John was at the meeting last Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Last Wednesday, John and I met with both Caitlin and Tori, um, the chair and vice chair of the school board here for well, an hour or so, um, talking about you know, our feelings and, and such. So uh, it was good. They, they were more open to mind, obviously. Um, some of the things that we talked about, I'm sure, influenced um, you know, their decisions on eliminating, certainly the closure is definitely this school mm -hmm. uh, and some of the other school board members had been over early in earlier in the week uh, to visit the school. I think uh, someone from Waterbury might have been James and it might have been Christine from uh, So it was Christine Sullivan and um, uh, James Grace. Right. Mm -hmm. And come over and say that. Yeah, so I think it was good for them to mm -hmm. see you know what goes on and how vibrant it is mm -hmm. and such. So um, you know I hope but there's still work to be done there. Obviously, I think the goal is to keep this school open as as it is. So we'll see. But one, of, one of the goals is also to have them make decisions based on a real rigorous analysis. That's and while they eliminated some pretty negative scenarios, did they do anything towards fixing their they process? they well. I mean, there's been a pretty big public outcry for a third party consultant to come in okay. and so all I can say is is I was impressed that it, it seems like the board members are listening a lot more mm -hmm. um, they pretty much they didn't like the legal advice they were getting from the attorney which I believe had been hired by Bridget mm -hmm. and so they are looking at other attorneys that would have absolutely no affiliation to to you know anything that has to do with education, pretty much. So mm -hmm. they, they they want a you know non biased opinion. Um, also, the teachers union is got getting involved, and so I think that's going to have a big bearing on things too. So this game isn't over yet. There's no doubt about it. And now now they admit they're in budget season. <laughs> so well, they they have a lot on their plate in there. They're doing it. Like I said, I think they're trying to do their due diligence, and as John said, I think we're starting to see them coming around a little mm -hmm. bit to listen to mm -hmm. And people in the communities, I think, you know, we need to give everyone here in this community a, a thank you for mm -hmm. what they've done. I mean, there was a lot of, um, you know, grassroots effort in getting the word out and, and talking to people. So, I'm um, still going, still going strong. 
My, my last question is, is, did they say anything about separating out the elements of their capital bond request? No. And that's something again that was asked, mm -hmm. I think, but you know, depending on what it goes for, they may have right. to anyway. So depends on what's the, what scenarios they're looking at. So yeah, I, so. I think that there was definite confusion on the part of several board members in terms of the process, which is something that the attorney Paul Giuliani was trying to straighten out. But you know, bottom line is I don't think they realized how complicated it, it would be to put together an article that's going to include school closures because the schools can't be closed until 2021. And I mean, if you need to do repairs, you need that money now. You, you know, you can't figure in savings later to reduce the amount that you're going to be bonding for. And, you know, it just, it was very obvious that, and it was interesting to see that it, and they, some of the board members were just really grasping this now. Well, and some of that works the opposite way, where if they change the occupancy of the schools, that requires capital work. Mm -hmm. So that's connected and... Right, can't exactly. Work. Right, yeah. right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what we're starting to see coming around, is what we're starting to put all those dots together and you know, we'll all of a sudden realize that uh, they need to slow down. So. Um, any else as far as reports? This, yeah, this is a um, zoning application that needs to be signed by the select board for the recreation sign that's going up out here. There's poles there, oh, yeah, but yeah. there's no sign. Um, but there's a picture of the sign when it's going to look like, but David can't issue it until someone from the board signs it. Yes, that's, uh, that's what's going to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a nice board there. We have signs. Um, and Martin, while you're here, sorry to jump right over. I think you could get some of the guys or one of the guys to paint the um, post on our sign that we have down here. Yes. Yeah. Before the, the post. Yeah. yeah. What they do so. What they do so. Yeah. Be, yes. Prior to uh, snow setting in. Because <laughs> the sign looks nice, but the, the post. The post. Very. Uh, uh, beat up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get right to Martin. <laughs> uh, what else do we have for your show? That's there's a curb cut here. And that's... Oh, there's another curb cut too. So we are Mark, you will all sign off on these, it looks like. Yeah. Rivers Road. On the curb cut, yeah. 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 Okay, look at all those. We'll sign those there. And then there's a couple of lines here. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll sign this stuff later. But, um, Ooh, um, with the, uh, if anyone, does anyone on the table have anything as far as communication today? I've got a couple more things. Um, jump. Road round table. Our next one is November 6th. I didn't even, I didn't check my email after. I, yeah, I re responded and okay, we should be able to make it. Oh, terrific. Well, that's great. So it's 9 to 11 on November 6th uh, at the Facebook town office this time. You guys can make it, all right, John, next. Um, also, um, the Haynes have sold their house. Have you heard that? Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's yeah. not done yet. It's not done? Well, it's October 25th is the, is the closing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, okay. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I've been in touch with Michelle now, um, and um, we still need to remove the stump from the tree because we agreed to that. Right? Yeah. Okay. I thought we were. I thought we were. Yeah. Yeah. The stump of the tree that they took down. Well, you weren't here that meeting, I bet. Yeah. No, you weren't. Okay. Okay. All right, I want to stay out of it. <laughs> I'll go with you on that. <laughs> but, all right. <clears throat> Take care of the stump. Um, and um, Jason had the suggestion, and then also the new tree, but I think. They don't even know if they want a new tree. They would like the stump, stump removed. Jason and I talked that Green Mountain Power should kick in something. So, um, who wants to do it? If the hand <laughs> said they would, that's, that's true. Uh, do we have, uh, Sasha, do we have a copy of that 
letter to Haynes. Yeah, yeah, they brought they brought the the, the letter in from the Greenland from woman, the woman yeah, yes. right, mm -hmm. right. I think I remember seeing a letter now about that yeah. as far mm -hmm. as the state of something they would right, right. And then they a year later they retracted. it. Um, so um, I, I just want to bring that up that you know we need to discuss about the the stump and also who's going to pay for it. I guess that's. Who, I guess, who does that? I guess, I mean, who removes it? I mean, is, is it something that we can do, or is it... Oh, well, I would, if they were willing, I'd probably recommend just getting it ground. Just ground? I would think would be the yeah. easiest way. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. that was it for... I mean, well, it's a decent-sized maple, correct? Right? Don't have some... Yeah. ...to go with it. Yeah, so... I mean, look what they went through up there, huh? Yeah, 100 B. Hey, did you see the size of the little mini out there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they actually got that out. I didn't see it. Yeah, all of a sudden I went by and I was gone. I didn't get it out with that. I no, I know. That. <laughs> I thought that was going to disappear in here. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that was amazing. 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 Do you know what's some of that locally, like Potter's? Whitney Tree Service, those any of the tree services. Two or three hundred bucks for stuff like that? Or? That'd be my guess. That would be my guess. I don't know for sure. Yeah, well, why don't we, Sasha, so if you could contact either Whitney's or Potter or both actually and see which one of the availability and plus what they are. Tree Service and Water Carrier for us. I've seen Potter's in action there, really. Yeah, they're yeah. Have those two or three and keep it. Yeah. And Finally, uh, back in August, I believe, is when Nick Logan was sitting in the Remember, he asked about something about his, the road there? And yes. You, you, did you talk to Martin about that? that he wanted to uh, check the, the, the width of the road. He, he felt. Boy, who is this? Nick, uh, Nick Logan. He's not ringing a bell. Where is that? Oh, I'm now. Uh, Oh, the first, first one on the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I haven't measured it, but I can tell you it's really no wider than it has been. Okay. And we can certainly narrow it up six inches if that's going to help, but right. it's not. We it's haven't not changed the road one. No. It's not overly wide. I mean, granted, as we grade and everything, the road. I, 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 I think also it's it's. It's also uh, the, the fact that the water runs down into his, his driveway. He was concerned about so, that. Yeah, his driveway is probably a foot, foot and a half lower than the road, so the yeah. water's always ran into his driveway since I've been around. I mean, okay. we haven't built the road up that much. We have put material down there right. and probably built it up four inches to six inches max. Okay. So there has been some material put there, but if you drive by, you'll see that his driveway is the low spot for his roof line, the road, all the surrounding one. Okay. Terrain drains right to his driveway, so. Okay. I don't think they, I mean, as time goes on, if we're doing work, we could certainly narrow the road up there a little bit, you know, six inches to a foot, but no. I could certainly put a tape measure on it and get a, you know, reflection, but it's not. Hard. Not necessary. It's not, uh, Okay. All right, Kelly, what did you have? No. Um, so I called uh, BSP Monday and Sunday because when I went for a walk Monday morning, there was a blue truck parked inside Herman Brook. They dug up from 609 up to Sergeant's lower entrance. So I stopped and talked to Steve. He hadn't heard anything, so I called it in. Steve. Miguel. Okay. Because he was, he was right there, right below his driveway. I guess Stefan talked to the guy whose truck it supposedly was. The guy gave Stefan the runaround. In my opinion, he gave him the runaround, a bunch of baloney. And so he proceeded to move it up past Wetzel's. And since then, he's just been going around on the class four road. 
So it's not inspected. Is that the, the blue dog truck? Yeah. Because yeah, it was it was like parked in the middle of the road up on top of the hill. Apparently he told Stefan he coasted it, so there's a dip and he pulled up and there's six and nine and then the gills. And he said he coasted it up that hill. But where he was was way up you know where the camp that I used to have. It was way up there. <laughs> Well, that's, I didn't post up that hill. Yeah. No, they saw him there. He was there Sunday or so, Saturday. So So I called it back in Sunday because the dispatch person never passed along the information okay. to a trooper. So yeah. the guy went up, he looked. There's still like a little park in the road by their driveway. And who owns it? I don't know. It's somebody new, which is why I was yeah, like, I mm, it's not a good thing. Anyways, I told it. If it, it was still there today, I'd say, let me know and I would let the cycler know and we haul it off or whatever. But it's, it's really in the travel, it was in the travel way, but it was a little bit there. So, yeah. Apparently the trooper went up Sunday, he didn't see it. So I don't know how far he went. Be up there. I don't know how far he went or how far he didn't. I didn't go back up there, but he said when he went saw it again to call him. Okay. But the feeling I got from him was that the name of the person who Stefan talked to and the person who the plates are attached to are not the same. Alright, so, so. Because we have to continue with the having problems with the yeah, we'll all state stuff. And I mean he went down, there were spots on the where everybody went down some of the ditch lines. Like on the side of the road. Like he pulled over and then burned out. Pulled yeah. over and burned out. Yeah. He said it was his friends. They picked him up, they were drunk and were blowing donuts in the room. I don't know. I just called it in. Well, continue to call it stuff in if you can. Unfortunately, that's what we have out there. Um, all right, anything else? Jason, did you have anything? No, that's no, so, all right. So let's go ahead and move. We've got, um, before we forget, let's do the meeting minutes. 10 7. I can watch them through with the minutes of 10 7. I'll figure we have, we're saying stuff in here we're not allowed to say. Um, and we'll go to the bid. And that um, is because of the amount of experience the engineer had. From federal guidance, that's not a valid reason. So please take that out of the official minutes. Um, that was done for whatever reason Chris had told us we could do it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right, were those changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Jason? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Alright, so let's get on, on to the budget. Martin, that's what you're here for. Yeah, yeah I just stopped the contract and not do it on the meeting and just make some things. So 
Um, I'm just going to kind of right away right here. Right now, um, the earliest I could get in to see the surgeon was November 20th or 22nd, something like that. So I'm getting an upfront personal look at our medical system. So yeah. uh, nothing moves along very fast. scheduled and they tell me it's important that I'll definitely be getting it done. Um, part of that is I have approximately three weeks of vacation time left. So which would be very helpful if I get the surgery booked before you know the end of the year. Purposely since I hurt my shoulder about a month ago, I've obviously not been taking any time, hoping to hold on to that vacation time, but um, now I'm kind of stuck in a little bit of a pickle here because I don't want to use up all my time and then end up with it, but I also don't want to lose it. So I think we can work with you, Mark, on that. Yes, yeah. it's usually, yeah, we'll work with you there. Yeah, okay. I know when you got it, your, your operation needs to be next year. Right. Oh, so that, okay. So no next year now it's just three days and we're allowed to, to bank. So mm -hmm. obviously I'd like to save it for the surgery, but right. Yeah. These are special yeah. circumstances that we're right. worried about it. Yeah, thank you. Um so that the uh, two thousand and one schedule has a ten in the windshield. Uh, we were doing kind of a check over of the truck um, to bring it to McLeod's. It has a crack in the frame. In my opinion, it's not fixable. <coughs> We'll see, I can still bring it. It's a pretty good crack. It was not noticeable until I pressure washed the, the frame. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's on the outer frame. It's a pretty good foot. That's the small. Yeah, it's the actual axle of the 2001. Um, I don't know where options are gonna be there. If we just kind of park it, they want, it was a great luxury to have a backup truck, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. We'll have to make a decision, I guess, as a group of what we're doing. But at least now with the Dodge, I think you yeah, exactly. have on the bigger roof we have. Yeah, exactly. I think you know some of the decisions we've made are probably going to help alleviate that. The only thing with the 01 is that it was our chloride truck, so mm -hmm. um, we're, we'd probably be stuck buying a utility trailer to hook to the ramp to do our chloride, which it's been a thought for a while now, but uh, I think it's doable for uh, six to seven or eight. I don't know what they go for, but we'd have to look at them. But mm -hmm. you know, rather yeah. than is that place the truck? Is that frame buildable? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the exact question I have. I would <laughs> say that you know, McLeod's does have certified welders, but the length of the the crack and just the overall appearance of the rest of the frame makes me leery, but I can mm -hmm. certainly have them take a look at it and give us a, you know. Right, even if it was just used for the floor ride. Correct. You know, and not so right. you put a mm -hmm. plow on it, you're going to get the crush. Yeah, I mean, I would, might be able just to looking at it, I'm guessing it's over the years, the wing, weight straight behind the wind post. Yep. So, um, so there's that. I um, wanted to talk to everybody about the um, bridge repair. I know. Stefan has claimed that Duxbury was able to get uh, copious amounts of money from the state for the River Road detour. I don't know if this is true or not, but if there's money that they're willing to give us for the upkeep of Stevensbrook and Tony Farm while this bridge closure is happening, because we all know it's on an official detour, but it will be the, right. the yeah. detour. I think when that meeting, right after that meeting, I wasn't here for the bridge meeting, but there was a discussion there is a uh, budget amount, and they also think we have a, a mm -hmm. ramp that we may be already put in or putting in for that. I think it's, I think the state um, will have offer. To, yeah, they offer. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But I don't think we talked about Stevensburg Road at all. No, only Pony Farm. Yeah. Right, which would be obviously less used, but mm -hmm. you know, I can certainly see Pony Farm being really, really used. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
so we'll continue. So, okay. Work. So, yeah, we're working on that. Um, I didn't uh, get back to you, right? I figured I'd see you tonight on the town hall uh, project. Uh, we can try to fit that in when, you know, whenever things become available. We're right now we're on uh, South Hill and Gove Road, trying to finish those up, but we're quickly running out of time. We have a lot of shop work to get ready with what they're predicting for the weather here in the next week or so. So I'd like to, uh, this is digging out the yep. next lab, mm -hmm. uh, so I'd like to get it done, you know, before, before frost, yeah. It's, yeah. it gets cold. Yeah, so right. I'd like to try to get it done next week if we can, yeah. if you can plan on it, I can yeah, I'm going to join Harry, see if he's all set. Okay. So we can get this done. Right. Okay. That leads me into the uh, excavator. That would be the one big budget item that we'd be asking for. Um, just to reconsider the excavator. We have a swing issue, um, a final drive issue, and um, some leaky cylinders. The swing issue is a um, leak by issue and get and just not knowing for sure, but there's some sort of leak. The cap would probably have to come off it. It's a uh, you sit there, should hold, and it just lists quite rapidly to one side. So it's just not overly encouraging for the life of you know the machine, but well, like who knows? Exactly. <laughs> so, um. I think it's time to seriously consider, you know, we currently had delivered today, in case you guys get any phone calls, um, a Hitachi, which is a John Deere. Um, we're demoing it, and so we shall see. But what size are you thinking? It's Hitachi's a 130, I think, a 135. I don't know what the numbers are, but it's, I would say, in the same, in that 30,000 pound class is what I'm guessing. Um, Did they throw any numbers at you? No, I haven't talked about the budget numbers yet, but he's working on them as, as well as a Volvo and a CAS so we can get things firmed up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Before we do that... I have one question. Oh, by the way, thank you very much for that spreadsheet. Yeah. That's helpful. But as far as all the work that the current unit requires, mm -hmm. does that affect the trading value or is that throwing you away? It, so you like if we were to fix it, you're saying yeah. it, it's basically throwaway money. I don't, I can't say that, but yeah. I mean, they gave us uh, trading when we discussed this two years ago. Uh, I think a 19.5 was the trading value. I could see that being even after all the work that we did. I could see it being less this time around than um, mm -hmm. that. But uh, I don't know until we get the actual numbers but so if we were to f just the ball just the ballpark here I'd say there's over 10 grand in repairs it would have to go to like months and again have the cap we will see what's going on it could be something simple but um, and then we start all over and, you know, the rest is more that would need to be uh, repinned um, to make it you know use it like extremely sloppy but um, there's just a lot of little things that would add up to it. Yep. High dollar amount if we were to fix them. <coughs> and you, are you sure that that is the piece of equipment that we need going forward? Excavator? Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> that it's not a fire pack that would be better or a rubber tire something else? Or I would. I've looked at it different. I would definitely. Okay, that's yeah, no, no, that, yeah, no. I would definitely not want to go to a rubber tire back out. Um, and a rubber tire rig. I mean, 80% of the time it would be perfectly fine. But, uh, the ease of maneuverability appeals to me, um, but it really isn't that big a deal to throw it on the trail. Right? That's, I mean, yeah. obviously I'm another piece of equipment that uh, you wouldn't need per se with that, but um, you know, we get up on the sand pile with it, we're down over banks, you know, to get the ditches, places you're not going to put a rubber tire rig. Sure. So like, and, and they are they are more expensive, you know. 
I think we'd be looking at an escalator or a rubber tire backhoe, and that would you know, be a giant step back in my opinion. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so, um, and then uh, I don't. Uh, we were able to cut some of the trees at uh, Hurdle Road. Uh, Frank stopped. Well, I I called him the week before. It was pretty blunt. So this just a courtesy call. We were cutting the trees um, just to let you know. You know, there's not any room for this guy. We we're just you know cutting them just to let you know. Stop by while we're doing it. It was very pleasant, actually. Um, Sean informed me today that he didn't take nearly enough, but but since he came around the loop with his dump truck, we had this ram when we did it. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's get it more to wood in there. Yeah. yeah. So. so it's hard to put it back. Exactly. That's the way I looked at it. Well, we can take a little bit and. And then, uh, well, when they just do the sidewalk, there's a lot of that's going to come out of here. I know. That's what, yeah. That's what he was it's talking about as in, well. Yeah. It's in the he also has a maple on his lawn that he was talking about having to take down. I'm surprised that the power company didn't make him take it when they took Haynes' as point on. I mean, you're not talking about that dead Japanese maple, the little bitty one that's. Uh, no, no, no. The great, the great <laughs> that's big one. has been sitting there for years. The great big one that's yeah, uh, right. on the side there. But Dead, big dead limbs on that one, mm -hmm. but so yeah, I am surprised they didn't do anything with that one. Yeah. Right. Well, those are so just some things to think about and uh, go from there. Budget, I really have not spent any time on as far as getting. I mean, any time I haven't spent <coughs> much time on firming it up, but I really don't see any major changes for us with the exception of um, sand and gravel is going to go up um, 25 cents. She uh, sued from various things. So I reached out to her. I heard it was going up as much as a dollar, so I wanted to find out. She said, no, definitely not. If it goes up anything, it'd be a quarter. Not a huge jump, but it'll add up. So we should probably budget mm -hmm. accordingly. Have you heard anything about salt prices? Not. Um, we use such a small amount that obviously it affects us, but not the way it does a lot of towns. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of fortunate with that roller coaster. Okay. Um, as far as your budget goes, then there's no sense that you haven't really looked at it. I have not. I have not. No. We, we, I try, try to do it, but the next meeting maybe. Yeah, I was yeah. Go within the next month or so. Yeah. Anyway, okay. yeah. And then we, then we would have budget numbers for the escalator and whatnot mm -hmm. as well. So that would be good. Yeah. Um, so we have an update on your arm. Um, make sure you know take care of yourself. That's the important thing. Just take care of your stuff. We'll figure out, as I said, where you can drive or something. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the last Yeah. Year. Oh, the, the RAM would be on the other studio. So Great, it's just the no. number of won't be a problem. There's <laughs> enough people in there. Um, are there any other... Yeah, um, so yeah, I think we're all set. Just get those numbers in. Yeah. Question, how the, has anyone uh, got their studio for the trailer area? Yeah. Um, no, we've gotten uh, the um, pamphlet and we're going over it, so we're going to try to Squeeze that in here at some point. Good. All right. As so, long as it's not forgotten. So no. No, on. definitely not. Guys are pretty eager about it, actually. So. Good. What about the flagger? Did you see uh, that? I did that? see that. Um, the, um, the guys are actually good through next year, but we may want to do it anyway. So you're good with if that? it works, we are good with okay. it right now. The one that doesn't have it, I was happy to be away on vacation when he took it. So. It's a bummer. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible. So I'll let them know you want in them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, depending on the you know schedule when they think it might be. They gotta reach out. Um, um, find out. They just they want to find out first if we were interested. Yeah, definitely. They're looking at doing all the driver training with all the surrounding towns, so they just do it all in place. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I have is there any chance of getting the RAM 
off of my budget or does it have to be on my budget? It has to be on your budget. The debt? Yeah. It can't be on yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> different, different lineups. I hate it. <laughs> then give me back all my MRGP and all that stuff. <laughs> Good day, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. See you next time. I'll talk to you more, Mark, about town hall. We'll get something to talk. Yeah. Thanks. So, Sherilyn was kind enough to. What's in that? <laughs> yeah. She's good at jet lag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sherilyn, thanks again for coming in mm -hmm. uh, for any budget questions that, that people have. Um, how much time people spent on it, but when we go through the town office, um, is there anything there, Cheryl, that you want to point out that's unusual? The building maintenance went from 2000 to 4500 um, We get the estimate back from Rocco. Um, the sidewalk out here is cracked and the needs maintenance, so that's 3000 They recommend um, Doing a yearly maintenance, and they did send us a maintenance plan. So, who is that? A road code. Um, so, so that's you know, so if you look at the side, I don't know if you are up to the end over here, that it's fairly cracked. Right. Yeah, I think I put that in the chair over there. And mm -hmm. then there's the little mm -hmm. chip over here that needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. So, there's about 3,000 that they think that needs to be done. I'm not sure if that's, you know, I think we'll have to look other places that I was in mm -hmm. to see if we can have it done, but it's something that needs to be taken care of. Yeah, right. So I'm thinking we're, you know, theoretically this yeah. project, the sidewalk project, we'll have concrete people here and I'm sure that we can do it pretty, a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. He was saying that with a crack, you know, not where it's cracked, but you know, where it joins mm -hmm. that fill, whatever this stuff is that they put in, in the center of them. It all the salt over the past five years has deteriorated it all, so it needs to be re put back in. I don't know what it's called, right? But you know, where the, the pieces come together and they put this stuff in between, Sealed. right? Whatever, yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's all pretty joint. much. Yeah. So maybe we don't need quite that much in there. Mm -hmm. um, We're not that figure there, that 4,500, you normally put 2,000 in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put 1,000 in, but I already dropped it back, thinking possibly this 1,000 was going to have to be done. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then we, Tom and I talked about putting $500 a year into the budget anyway, just for... Mm -hmm. Yeah, maintenance on those sidewalks to keep them. I mean, they need to actually, mm -hmm. the, um, depending on the ones, the new sidewalk we have in the future, if we want to this year. But certainly, if there's, um, I don't know if you read, there was a nice brochure on sidewalk maintenance. It's a good read. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it talks about, but we should probably do that um, if we're going to you know, spend all this money on sidewalks to do it. To, which would maybe a little bit more than 500, but, mm -hmm. but Cheryl, so why don't we knock off at least, I, I think we can get a, oh. So you got to have at least $1,000 in there mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. to cover, um, to cover, so we have garbage, that's around oh, 60, no. 65. Why don't we put it at 2500 okay. And then the next thing is the equipment maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, we've been notified, this is what Jason was wanting to talk about, the computers. Yep. Um, Windows 7 is going to be no longer existing as of January. And a couple of, we have three computers that need to be completely replaced, and two of them need to be, um, three of them need to be updated. 
with Windows 7. So I called our support and got a quote in and roughly it's going to end up, um, I'm sorry, I went right over it. That's not the computer. But yeah. But you talked about computers, but that's okay. not the yeah. amount. support this year. You can see we went over budget there. Um, pretty much the IT support is what put us over budget. What one would you put in? The equipment maintenance. It was at 5700 and I put it up to 7000 But you were... Um, I was running up to 7000 to begin the yeah. <laughs> But your actual issue was 37.42, right? Uh, That's year to, year to date. Year to date, yeah. All right, so like she said she was over budget on it. Yeah, the equipment maintenance. Uh, yeah, 5,700. It was in the budget. Right. Right. But what was, what was last year's budget? Last year's budget was 5,700. Oh, okay. That wasn't in the maintenance part. I think just said the computers are not in the maintenance. They're not. I'm so sorry. I'm, um, I don't know what that. The, com the computers are down. The, um, the middle, yeah, the equipment purchases. Right. It's 4200. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so there's the computers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's purchase. Yes. So yep. would, then, would the maintenance be the upgrading? Yeah, no, the no, that was the total price of everything. He gave us one. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yep. yep. Um, this year, equipment maintenance. These see, we've got old figures in here. That's why my figures are different. Mm -hmm. Equipment maintenance. This this spreadsheet was created what a month ago, mm -hmm. over a month ago. That's why your figures are different. Yours figure says the actual was thirty-seven forty-two. Yeah. Right. Equipment maintenance. Yes. Yeah. It's actually fifty-nine on three. Ah, okay. Thank so you. Now we're not confused. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and sorry, <laughs> I just updated everything today in mine. See what wasn't in there before was the disaster recovery, the NEMREC backup. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So for the 2020 budget for that, yep. what do you? That's the seven thousand. The seven thousand. Seven. So there's two. What in that seven thousand? Mm -hmm. There's Nemert support for fifteen hundred, Nemert disaster recovery for seven hundred and thirty-four, and then the ACS land record is, is forty-two hundred, and then I put five hundred dollars in it for <coughs> support uh -huh. based off from what we spent mm -hmm. this year. I didn't put as much in there as what we spent in IT this year because some of that was needed, but it should be needed. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, question the computer upgrades. Mm -hmm. You can't have Windows 7 on any computer right. that connects to the outside. Mm -hmm. If you have anything that's standalone, it's still okay. Right. right. So yeah. Is there anything that needs that description? Uh, he has a. This was his email. With the, I asked him to give us a quote on everything that needed to be done so that we would be functioning in the office. I think you were on the rest of those emails. Yeah. So what I didn't know is what these different computers are used for. So I'll leave them standalone. No. No. Okay. No. No. Okay. So that's it on the town office. The big differences. Shirley, if you going forward, um, mm -hmm. you could add another just a, a line in that has a subtotal on each. Mm -hmm. um, so for town office. 
So it's easier to look at, all right, what, what are we doing well on that from last year? Spreadsheets, you have to adjust every single time we make the accounts payable. So if I just used mine out of there, I wouldn't have to be transferring everything over here from one to another. It's not a big deal. We'll just do it. It's just a pain. Mm -hmm. What's your pain? It's all. So you export that to Excel? We export, no, we use mm -hmm. this. Yeah, this came out of Excel. Mm -hmm. We exported out of Excel. Right. But every time that there's a change, We've got to go back in and put these figures back in because these figures don't stay because the budget's not set yet. Once the budget's set, then it's done. I don't understand. We'll those figures will stay. Because we're still setting the budget. Yeah. So every time we do an accounts payable, those figures change. Right. So then we got to go and plug every single one of these numbers back in that you've just gone over. Why would you have to do that? Because they're not in the system yet. They have to be put in the system, and they're not in the system until the budget's set. Oh, well, that's why, so that's why you're using that sheet. That's why you're telling me that you're using that sheet because of the... No, I'm using this spreadsheet because that's what you guys want. Uh, we, can talk about, uh, we can talk offline about it because I think that there are some quick things yeah. you can do that you don't have to re-enter anything. Yeah. yeah. And subtotal should just be one click on it, so... No, I know how to do stuff. I know how to do all that stuff. I'm just yes. saying every time those figures change, these these are not in the in the memory right, system right. at all. But they're they're in your last spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So it's just they're all the same lines. So you can just drop them in. But you guys go over that. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Well, offline. Um, but yeah, that way, so we just know because mm -hmm. it looks like at, we're now for budget. Um, What's the date on the top of that corner? 1021. Yeah. I mean, going forward, if we just have a copy of this, and we've, we've got the subtotals, and then these could be worksheets. Yeah, and that's what we used to do. And give the worksheets to you. That's what we've always used to do. Yeah, yeah that's what that Thanks, Joe. Um, so, is there anything else on top of this going to change? You're, you're good with that? Yeah, I think we're good with that. Town hall. Um, I didn't touch it. Okay. I'm leaving that for you guys. All right, I'll get open Sasha on that. I have a dumb question on town hall. Is it going to have that used? Um, there's going to be ice coming off that roof, and we don't have any of the, what do you call those things on the roof that catch the ice so it doesn't slide off? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So nobody knows the name of that thing, but anyway, we should have those. Yeah, or we'll just make sure that we don't have, we'll have parking or something in front of the. Uh, oh, that's the, the whole side of the building. Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, we've always functioned, that building's always functioned yeah. there uh, with snow. So I don't know why this would be any different this year. That's where we have all those warning signs that say warning falling in snow. And I think we can mitigate that problem to some degree. All right, if you want to look into I, It's not yeah, anything I know anything about other than that they probably exist. Probably not a bad idea because that is they can be kept parking. Yeah. Well, I just don't even know what the things are called, so I can't yeah. do anything about it. All right. Um, yeah, on those snow, but snow guards. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Sasha, there you go. There's another. All right. We have, um, Cheryl, we have some time to be around here. All right. So, why don't we put, we have the library right here. So, has anyone had the opportunity to, to look through or 
to um, have anything you want to add as far as the library budget at all? Any concerns? You have the, you have the submission from Elizabeth on that Yep. Okay. Came in. Yeah, yeah we, we did that. Mm -hmm. So those are the numbers that are in here now? Yeah. Yep. Any questions? Now, Cheryl, do you have the updated with the subtotals there? Mm -hmm. okay. I think this is where we have to sit down and uh, take a look at it. We won't have uh, well, the rental of the that we less this year than it was last year because we're looking at the winter. So, was the yeah, so 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 the Valley Libraries are all members, and they were able to adjust. And then they said, you should pitch in a little more. So that's the, the other membership is, and it's in the memo from Elizabeth. I don't know if you have that in front of you, Sasha. Um, she, she sends a memo with the information. The other membership is that we have audio and e-books through it's called the overdrive and there's an increase in cost for that so that we can have access to ebooks and audiobooks. And I believe in Elizabeth's memos those are the two reasons for the membership increase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys and I know that just came in Friday or whenever it was, but if you hadn't had an opportunity to take a look at it, then we're not going to approve budgets at least tonight. So, uh, but she did do a good job as far as like an explanation on all. Yeah, and I will go with the memo for what I'm saying. Yeah, take, yeah uh, for sure. So we can, but if there's nothing here that really sticks out that you want to ask the library, we can take a look at her presentation or her um, uh, budget that she put forth with the memo on it. If it has a pretty, pretty good. Uh, So why don't we skip over the library then at this point? Oh, well, I have a question okay. here. This is a 7.8% increase. I'm wondering why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's the personnel salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we examined the Vermont Department of Libraries out of uh, Montpelier. They run a salary survey, and mm -hmm. the most recent numbers they had were 2015. And according to those numbers, in they have different categories like size of library and position. So for the position um, and the size of our town and our library, we are under the amount that is the medium pay. So uh, we also looked into what the area libraries are, and librarians and library assistants are getting, and we are well below. So. We discussed as a board of trustees what would be a reasonable increase to honor those discrepancies, but still um, not overstep with too bold of a request. So that is why mm -hmm. there is that increase is to bring us closer to. And again, the 2015 numbers, and I asked, inquired about a more current one. So even with that number, we're still a little under. We're closer. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And you have all that documentation in case you want to see like area towns is kind of what 
that we recently adjusted our um, road crew pay and what we really look for is where someone in our town or someone that would drive to this job happen you know be getting paid for so we really try to look locally and say so that'd be interesting to see what you know what they're paying oh absolutely yes yes i have that those numbers I would I would check I'm the secretary, not the trustee, so I'll, oh, I'll sure, check yeah. with the Elizabeth yeah. and, and we can of course send it to you and the links to the um, Vermont surveys as well. Any other questions there in the basement? So that was the only thing that jumped out. Um, question on memberships. Uh, you're probably way ahead of me on this, but are there any sort of cooperative arrangements with other small libraries that are possible, or does everybody go on their own? For no, that's that is that is considering the cooperations. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the audio and ebooks are a consortium. Okay. Through the Vermont Green Mountain Consortium. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then the chamber membership is with the other area libraries. Mm -hmm. so that is correct. So take a look at the memo there and revisit uh, the other stuff there. And also, um, as we always do, we'll, we'll look at compensation as, uh, as a whole. Um, Chair, when we've got town meetings and elections, you? Yeah, let me see that. Oh. So, as we know, every year for general elections, that's where the budget went up so much. Mm -hmm. But it's still, I still kept it down as lower than it used to be. Um, the, one of the uh, big jumps, as you'll see. Official election pay? Well, yeah, that would be jumped up because of the um, three election versus one. All right. There's three mm -hmm. elections. Um, the Print. expenses. So the expenses on the printing and stuff goes up anyway because we have three elections, even though right. it's. Um, but I added a sheriff in there in case we have the general election at the school because of the issues we had last year with the school not being happy. Parents were upset because the general election was there even though it's always been there um, because of everything that's been going on. Um, I talked briefly with Nanny about it last year and I tried to call her today and she, wasn't, she was out of her training. So I threw it in there. I called the sheriff's office today and it's going to cost us around $700. The $700 would be the sheriff would be there all day. The cruiser would be sitting outside. Um, so what we're paying for is eight hours of straight time, four hours of overtime, mileage, and the cruiser sitting outside. So, and that would be just for the general election. And the general election is way too big to have in this office. I don't think I could pull it off. I, I would like to think I could, but with this table in here, and I don't think this table's heavy, I don't think we're going to move it. Um, we're going to need at least, this general election's going to be huge. I wouldn't even dare try to do it here, I really wouldn't. Well, I'd like to. If this table was the only thing that was holding you back, no, I would not I won't. hesitate to do that. No, I won't, because we have like six booths that we have put up. We're, we're probably going to be pushing around 900 voters. Eight, 900, that's what the last large presidential election. Yeah, we've always done it at the school, so I think. Yeah, it's always mm -hmm. been at the school, and it's never been, and it's so much easier for the elderly getting in and out of the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just they go on the side door and scoot right into the gym, and I'll put the barriers up and all, but the share, if we, if you're That makes sense. Yeah. I think, you know, if that's a concern. Mm -hmm. It could be, I think it's probably wise to have yeah. someone there. Yeah, with everything that's been going on and for people. Peace Just peace of mind. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's where that increase came from. Mm -hmm. Would they pay half? I'm sorry? Would they pay half? The school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Because we have to ask. Yeah, we can ask. But I shaved the budget as much mm -hmm. as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did up $50 on the meals just because there's three elections. I don't know if we'll use it or not, but. Yeah, that's. Like town reports, it's the same. Town reports, yes, I upped it because we, um, not enough town reports were ordered last year. We were short about 100. So I upped it. You're going to sell it. 
I'm sorry. You have a best seller. <laughs> I have to pay two hundred dollars. Hopefully, that would cover it. I haven't had anything to do with town reports, but I do the financial part of it. Going back, it's pretty good, I think. All right. Um, I guess as far as miscellaneous, I mean, miscellaneous is expense in general. Yeah. Um, the workers' comp audit. You'll see, we didn't have anything in the budget last year, but we spent fourteen ninety six. It's the third line item down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, that's due because every time we put somebody on our payroll, it goes up. The library went up this year, the fire departments went up this year, and the, the, the fire department's not on the payroll, but when they come in and they do our audit, they go through all of our records. So we have a lot of, every time we hire just a little, you know, a part-time something, a temporary, mm -hmm. it goes up. Just something to keep in mind. So we're hiring people, new people. People can't leave, we can't right. hire them. Right. Fire them. Um, I didn't put anything here in the select board people because I wasn't sure. I mean, I know what you got going on, but mm -hmm. I kind of left that for you guys. We have general legal on the other side, so what's the difference? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, <laughs> then we just keep the 5,000 in the general think, one. That's good. I think. Honestly, I could do a journal entry and move this 6179 DV over to the general legal. It's still either way. It's still going to be your budget. It's still going to be the general miscellaneous general budget. So it's not the bottom line. Is still going to be the same. Yeah, I was just going to ask the same thing. Tom but, asked about what criteria led to some of the actuals going into the um, budgets. I'm going to have to pull up the detail on that, mm -hmm. and I can do that. I'm, I'm just curious, it probably can be one. I'm just well, so curious how that is split. Well, it's legal for the um, Montgomery mm -hmm. Timber and all that, that would be on your select board. Mm -hmm. um, on the other general legals, if it has something to do with something else that's not financial, financial I would imagine that's where it got posted. I don't know if I would have to look to give you a straight answer. Yeah, I'd like to see where it's going. Yep. Okay. Um, do you want me to email you about that? Or no, that's all right. Okay. Um, you want to jump down? Yep. Miscellaneous general recreation. Um, Steve Loggins came in today. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, I did get, I think it's around 2700 that they're asking for. I don't know. It just came in as I'm walking by the computer tonight. So I don't, I don't get time to put that one in. You're okay. Um, county tax stays the same. Mm -hmm. um, HRA didn't do anything with any of that yet. Because um, I mean, need to You guys still working on that? Or? Yeah, John and I have been working, talking. Um, we're still waiting for the quote to come back from Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I left that mm -hmm. blank. Um, I didn't put anything in it. Yeah, I might just mention this this year, um, the way it works with the health insurance is that there's a special program through Blue Cross that they go on experience. So they take a look at you know basically what you know what our costs are and uh, we're rated based on that. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. <clears throat> Any numbers for that program would be the same one as Craig got somewhere. Okay. 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 I, 
that dates it off from an average of his hours that he's submitted so far since um, July, the cheap part of May, I think it was. Well, based off an average of what he's got, I must have left it out there. All right, so that's based on usage of basic mm -hmm. number of work we're now. Yeah. Cycles that we get? Three. Three. And I put that in the, um, mm -hmm. in the policy that I gave to. The listers did their own, as you can see, mm -hmm. they pay went up there. A thousand. Is there a short reason for why? They did it. So when they come in, we'll tell us. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have anything to do with any of that stuff. ECA, did you have? Yeah, it's just staying the same anyway, it's nothing there. Mm -hmm. David, all the county administrator stuff, that's... Yeah, I pulled up his um, stuff as well. Thousand dollars for legal services? Yeah, that's new. Yeah, he must have something specific in mind. No, he's worried that it's something that will come up. That's, I think we uh, that, and we can take that out, I think that goes into the general legal. Mm -hmm. um, I think based on the hours he's been working, just from pulling a report for the last 24 weeks, I think that might be a little high. We'll have to get in there. Yeah, about mm -hmm. but I just wanted to bring that up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dissuade him from putting right, in the hours. Right, exactly. Sure yeah, no, because he's been really good. If mm -hmm. he doesn't need to work, he doesn't. If mm -hmm. he's needed, he's here. Yeah, that was either of conscious or his time. Yes, he's things. very good about it. Planning Commission, that, did they send that to you? No, okay, so then I put that in and kept it the same. 
spending the night here. Have you been here all day alone? That's right. Working hard. Uh, so it's a long day for you. Thank you for, for um, putting your time. Do you have any budget questions for Sherilyn before she gets out of here? Um, I only, as far as format, could you make sure you put the date on? The date? Mm -hmm. So the only reason why I say that is because as we go on further yeah. from this and something changes, yeah. I want to be sure I'm looking at the right page. I will. And, uh, I've got more work to do on this to make it so that it, like I'm going to put all of this at the top of the page. It just, I don't have that much time to do it yeah. today, so mm -hmm. I will. And I'll clean can, it up. And if you can send it in an Excel format, 
to uh, to me or to email. Email. Yeah. Let me email it so you guys want to update it. Yeah. That way I can look at it. Please yeah. the numbers. Yep. Tell me, do you want to ask Sasha to get a price on the security cameras? Oh, yes. Yes, she has. You did? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Some stuff came in that I think she was in the mail on Friday or something like that. So, yeah. We'll okay, so we're, we're on it. Okay. Yep. She's been all night out in Arizona. Yeah. Texas, Arizona, Nevada. Travel. Yeah. All right, so we just need to sign some stuff. Um, and then we can give you up. Good. So, Ray, why don't you start to mm -hmm. Callie, can you start here? Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of um, getting a GPI started, so right you're going to check um, and see if we should start now. Yeah, so I think the procedure is so you need to get a letter from somebody saying the register of the war. Yeah. Then we got to put our bond mm -hmm. and stuff together and send it back to you. And mm -hmm. sign the contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so one of the well, I mean, we hope we get some initial stuff, but you know, the you know, whole procedure is going to go through. Okay, right. It's going to be, and one thing that is all, uh, Chris on the statements to approve the, the, the bid. You're right. And, but they're the ones that are urging us to, to go forward with it. Right. He looked at it, but they'll go through, but everything is, you know, obviously pending that they approve it, but, um, yeah. But based on that, so yeah, you'll get a letter fairly quick, but you can let the guys know. Right? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be starting to look at it tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. Um, okay. I may be having something. And you know, actually, for tonight's minutes, um, Jason, the, the deal with the the years of experience mm -hmm. was that we couldn't go back, we couldn't request that they had X many years of experience. Okay. okay, but there's nothing wrong with after choosing somebody. We didn't it's choose them so okay. because they didn't have enough experience. Okay, and it just so happened that who GPIS signed it has 40 years of experience. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that being in the Okay.
And then he went on and charged for that. No. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. So there's a motion to adjourn. I will accept it. I'll make a motion in here. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.